Welcome. So this class, so this uh, question says a 60 kilogram block hangs from a wire of cross-sectional area 2 square millimeters. The wire was originally 4 meters long but stretches by 3 centimeters under load. What is the Young's modulus for this wire? So let's, um, let's visualize this. So here we have the original wire and it's stretched so let's do that as a it's stretched by a certain amount and what's causing the stretching is this block so there's my, my visualization and the block was 60 kilograms so this is going to be 600 newtons and the original length of the Y was four meters, and then the extension is three centimeters, and the cross sectional area. Let's do the cross sectional area in green so that I can. That cross sectional area is two square millimeters. So so what is Young's modulus? Young's modulus is, is, a, is a kind of figure of merit. It basically, engineers need to know about it because you know if you make your if you make your wire out of the wrong material, it will be like a bungee cord, um, and so things will just stretch, and it, your structure will not behave the way you want it to behave. So, in engineers' handbooks, they have. Uh, 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 numbers like the Young's modulus, which, which which tell you how a particular material will behave. A Young's modulus is equal to a thing called a stress over something called a strain. And the stress, well, the stress is the force per unit area that's applied, and the strain is the extension divided by the original length. So we can rearrange this and say well it's the force over the area and when we turn this around it becomes the original length over the extension. So mathematically my Young's modulus is going to equal my force that's applied which is 600 newtons times my original length and my original length of course is 4 meters and it's divided by the area and this is where I get to check to see if you know your conversions because this is going to be 2 and how many square millimeters are there in a square meter or rather you know how much of a square meter is a square millimeter and this is going to be 10 to the minus 6 yeah there's is, uh, uh, don't think linearly, think in terms of area. <laughs> and then we have, and again we have a situation here where I'm talking about the extension, and the extension is not 3 because that's in centimeters, it's 3 times 10 to the minus 2. So this is a, a, just a nice problem which is not, you know, it's not a difficult problem, but I can throw, I can throw, uh, um, non-standard units at you and uh, see how you do. So this would be 2400 over 6 times 10 to the minus 8 which would be uh, 400 times 10 to the 8 which equals 4 times 10 to the reduce the 400 by factor of 2 multiply the other by factor of 2 400 times 10 to the 10 what units would it be? well this is newtons and this is square meters and this is meters and meters well they cancel out so it would be newtons per meter squared which we could write down as 4 times 10 to the 10 Pascal. Pascal, of course, being pressure, which is force per unit area. 
so there we have it. It's not a difficult problem, but I can. It's one of those problems that I can make a lot more interesting, and and you might regard it as being quite tricky, but you know, with practice, you will not. For example, yes, I don't have to give you the the extension or the original length in standard units. I can give you it in different units and find out do you know your conversions. That's one thing I can do. Another thing I can do is with this cross-sectional area. Yes, I can do the same thing with, uh, I can give you non-standard units with a cross-sectional area. But frankly, I could give you the radius of the wire. And then you're going to have to work out the cross-sectional area. And I can give you the radius of the wire in non-standard units. So then you have to work out the area of the wire in standard units. I could tell you not how much the wire extends by, but I could tell you the beginning length and the ending length. And so you'd have to do a subtraction. I can throw a whole bunch of numbers at you with a whole bunch of different units at you and just test how good you are at visualizing how good you are at dealing with non-standard numbers. This is not just plug and chug. This is actually trying to just work your way through a bit of a, a bit of a non-standard spaghetti uh, a concoction and that's what life's about. That's, that's what we have to do. So there we have it.